Kenya is at a crossroads. Health and education outcomes are above average compared to other lower middle income African countries, but levels of access to basic services like clean water and improved sanitation are comparatively low. Pervasive corruption impedes development. Going forward, Kenya must improve the quality of governance and service delivery without sacrificing gains in health and education. Kenya falls at the low end of the World Bank threshold for lower middle income countries. Yet, life expectancy is five years longer and, as recently as 2012, primary enrollment rates were 20% higher than in other lower middle income African countries. Kenya has achieved this despite poor access to basic services. In other lower middle income countries, people are about 60% more likely to have access to an improved sanitation facility and 25% more likely to have access to potable water. Until recently, the same story held for electricity access. Since 2010, the country has nearly tripled its rate of electrification and is on track to achieve one of the most rapid expansions of electricity access of any country globally. Improving electrification may help Kenya achieve important economic outcomes, like attracting more manufacturers and reducing the indoor use of traditional fuels. However, since 2010, education outcomes in Kenya have stagnated. Aggressively pursuing electrification at the expense of other development priorities is a trade-off that should be managed carefully going forward. To better understand the challenges, the African Futures Project, in collaboration with the Kenya Business Guide, used the International Futures Forecasting System to compare Kenya's current trajectory with two alternative scenarios for Kenya's future. In the Tukokazi scenario, Kenya makes modest gains in health and education. It improves the efficiency of its agricultural sector, increases access to basic infrastructure, and reduces corruption. In the Billa Hopes scenario, service delivery stalls, social tensions mount, and there is increased risk of violence ahead of the 2022 elections. In the Tukukazi scenario, the average Monainchi has an additional $1,500 in her pocket in 2040. Infant mortality declines by 35% and the country spends about $45 billion less on imported food than in the Billa Hopes scenario. It is unlikely that Kenya will achieve upper middle income status by 2030. But with the right choices, Kenya will have a brighter future. For details on these and other recommended interventions to build a sustainable future in Kenya, visit www.issafrica.org and www.kenyabusinessguide.org. The African Futures Project is a collaboration between the Institute for Security Studies and the Frederick S. Pardee Center for International Futures at the University of Denver.